Okay, there's one last sound I want to add, and it's a percussion part, but I want to use the grid to draw it in. Before I do that, I'm going to name this last track that I programmed in in the last step for the hi-hats. And if you double touch the shift button, it will activate caps lock. Cool. So I'm going to touch the plus button to go to the next track and double touch here to get to my programs. And I am going to choose the ish program. From the ish program, I am going to use these snaps and I am going to program them in in 64th triplets. But I am going to do that from grid mode. Once in grid mode, I'm going to zoom in so I can see a little bit better and scroll down. And now I can see the selected A12 pad. I'm going to set the grid resolution to 64th triplets. So I'm going to double touch right here on the 16 to bring up the grid resolution and touch 64T here. And now I have more grid lines available to me. And that's going to allow me to draw in these snaps in a very fast, repetitive snare roll. And I'm going to select the pencil tool, and I'm going to draw this in between bar one, beat two, and bar one, beat three. The snare happens on beat three. Let me just listen to that and see what it sounds like. Perfect. So now that I have that in, I'm just going to program it in once, and I want to make a velocity adjustment. So I'm going to touch the velocity here. I can see my velocity lane. Now I'm going to select the pencil tool and I'm going to draw in a crescendo effect. So it's going to start with a low velocity and as I draw to the top, it's going to end with a high velocity. Beautiful. Now I'm going to go back to my main screen. And the way I have it programmed in now, it will only happen once every eight bars. I actually want it to happen more often than that. So the sequence is set to loop every eight bars. And my track is set to play at the same length as the sequence, which means my track will loop every eight bars also, but I can adjust that. So I'm going to touch right here on the track length, and then I can turn the data dial to say how long I want the track to be in beats. In 4-4 four, four time, four beats is one measure. So if I play it now, you will hear that roll happen every four beats or every measure. That's too much, so I want it to happen every two bars, so I'm going to change it to eight beats. Cool. We're off to a great start, but I haven't done something that is very, very important. I haven't saved my project yet. And this is one of the very few times in the NPC Touches workflow that you actually have to touch the mouse and go into the software. I actually have to save the project in the software first to tell it where to save to. And then after that, I can save from the touch. So I'm going to go into the software, go to the file menu, and I'm going to come down to uh, save project. So now it brings up my save dialog and it is asking me where do I want to save to. So I'm going to click here and I'm going to select my desktop. After the desktop is selected, I'm going to click here to create a new folder. I always create folders for my MPC projects. That way I know everything is contained within that folder. And if I need to port it to another computer or another studio, I know I have everything with me. So I'm going to click new folder. And this dialog is going to come up and it's asking me to name the folder. And I'm going to name it touch. BWF for basic workflow project. Okay, then I'm going to go here and I'm going to name the project BWF for basic workflow. So since I'm saving a project file, it's going to save all of the programs, samples, sequences, and songs related to it. I'm going to click save over here. And just to show you what's going on and where things were saved to. Here on my desktop, here's the touch BWF folder. And inside that folder, you see the BWF project file and you see the BWF project data. And here's where all the samples, programs, sequences and songs are kept. I'm going to go ahead and close that out. Click here to maximize that screen. So now that I've made the initial save in the software, all I have to do is touch the name of the project here at the top, touch save here, and any updates to programs, samples, sequences, or songs 
are now updated and saved to my file without going back into the software. 